Okay, this is the uh, South Wales Coastal Path with two of my old school chums. Hey. And first of all, yes, we have Mr. Michael Griffiths. Mike, where, what, which section are we doing? Today, we're going from Llantwit Major Ooh. all the way down to Nash Point to see the two lighthouses. Now, you'll see that Mr. Griffiths is sporting a very fashionable tangerine <laughs> outfit and then charcoal grey trousers and then very trendy white uh, shoes straight off the uh, courts of California. And his scruffy old mate here is Mr. <laughs> David Eckel. So yes. what did we do once we set off? Well, we walked down uh, onto the rocky beach. Yes. We then walked up and got ourselves a huge ice cream. What flavour did you have? I had raspberry ripple. Oh, I had toffee, Mike. What flavour? I, I had chocolate chip. And then what was the way that we had to go? We were heading uh, west and we went up. Yeah, didn't we? we went up into the woodland area. Yeah. No, um, we went along the cliff top. Yeah, well, along the cliff top and then the woodland. And area. What would you like to say about the woodland area, Mike? It was very woody. <laughs> yeah, you had to go off, off the coast a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we had to go yeah. back a little bit. It was, uh, the path wasn't very clear, but we got through it. Yeah. And there were lots of fields to go through with rapeseed oil. And uh, then we made our way past Atlantic College. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was a amazing. castle. Yeah. It was a castle with yeah. like a boat entrance and everything like that. Yeah, and a big swimming well, no, pool. First, Atlant uh, first International College. And the cliffs, the cliffs are like bricks aren't they like mm. squares and yeah. even on the beach isn't sand it's well, rock took lots of photos of oh, yeah so we're gonna see lots of photographs mm. with this so okay we went through the woodland we through the rapes and took some photographs of you mike in the rapeseed fields <laughs> and then where are we now right we're now at nash point yeah nash point and we've got this little stumpy eccles lighthouse here yeah. and then in the background you can see a magnificent hansel lighthouse and a, Name that for obvious reasons. Now, Michael, I've been told that you've never been here before and yet you live never 10 before. miles away. Yeah, true. So uh, I'm enjoying it because we're going to go even further next time. We're going to go from Nash Point down towards uh, Southern Down in the west. And then Southern Down to? Southern Down to Ogmore. And that finishes that section. That finishes that section then, which we've done from Port Cove to the Ogmore River. And Mr. Eccles, you're very well travelled. Where have you been in the big, bad, wonderful world that's better than the South Wales Coastal Path? Is, there's no competition. Uh, speaks like the a Welsh Coastal Path is probably the most dramatic, beautiful coastline in the world. It's beautiful, it's especially beautiful. on a day like this. Yeah, yeah. Sun bye, is shining. Say goodbye, boys. Goodbye, bye. boys. Bye. Okay, Mike, where's the walk today? Well, we all arrived safely at the car park at Nash Point, next to the lighthouse. Had a quick cup of coffee, and then we headed. Did west. we lose the keys? Ah, that's another story. How many hours have you got for that one? Okay. We headed west. Yeah. Along the cliff tops. A bit windy. Yeah. Some of us dared to look over the edge. Yeah. And see the strata. It's amazing, isn't Some it? Fantastic views. Yeah. We're heading west now towards Southern Down. How far is... have we done so far? How long? Well, we've been one hour exactly. All right, it'll be three or four hours by the time we finish. We'll do so. Time for something to eat now and enjoy the views. So we've got about ten miles of these cliffs with their amazing stratas. Just seem to go on forever. You can look out to sea, and from sea in Swansea Bay, you can see these cliffs. It's Swansea's behind Porth Call there, in these pictures of Mike and Seamus. Uh, the other amazing thing is you start to see all these patterns where you'd expect there to be a beach. So you've got the patterns in the cliff, and then you've got the patterns in the rock on the beach. Somebody said if it was Northern Ireland, we'd talk about a Devil's Causeway. But you really do start to get quite remarkable patterns uh, emerging up and what have you. So there's uh, David up on the cliff and the Griff all looking very happy. It's quite a lot of going up and down uh, into the kind of woodlands and what have you. It's always nice to get to the top. So you carry on walking and you carry on seeing more and more cliffs and cliffs and beach patterns. We've got a little bit of sand here. Uh, sheep are all pretty relaxed about the whole thing. They, they've seen it all before. And you can look down onto the beach to look at the sand and then all the way over the Bristol Channel. Of course, you're a lot closer here than you are in Swansea more of the rock patterns which never really uh, cease to amaze you can start to see where we're going to be heading towards but you've also got inland you can see the the harvest has started to be brought in uh, here's the boys kind of walking along quite happily and then yes even more cliffs so it's all quite something and here are the boys and here's the three of us on a style so uh 
Mike, we've done a bit more. What have we done? Which section have we done now? Right, since we last spoke, yeah. we went uphill, downhill, in and out. Yeah. Beautiful scenery. And we've arrived now just outside Southern Down. We've been here before with Mel and Carl. Yeah. And we're having a few little sandwiches before we tackle the next bit, which is over the hill, down into Southern Down, and then on to Ogden. So we've been going along the top of the cliff, haven't we, with its amazing rock formations. True. And who have we brought with us? A well-known Irish adventurer. First time is, how's he done? He's done very well. As you can see, he's all white. He is all white. And Mr. Eccles, how would you describe the relationship between these two fine young men? Uh, very sexual. I think it's very sexual as well, yes. But so, have you enjoyed the walk? Uh, yes, yes, I've enjoyed it. It's not bad. <laughs> So we're actually having our picnic in pretty much the same spot as we stopped with Mel and Cole. It's all very nice. You can see the boys all lined up here. Seamus is looking like a Jedi warrior. Uh, and I was finding that just about wherever I pointed my camera, you tended to get a decent pick. You can look behind you, you look at the beaches. David's struggling up the hill there. So we're beginning to see the last now of these rock formations, these astonishing two-layered cliffs and the patterns uh, in the beach. I've never really uh, discovered this part of the world and it's really quite amazing. So down into Southern Down, down the hill, down to the kind of car park and shops and loos at the bottom, uh, and then back up the other side. And this is another point that we went with Mel and Cole. We had a picnic here at the top of the car park, which is absolutely fantastic, and enjoyed that with, with the sheep. And starting to look behind now, you can see really kind of started to come quite a long old way. You can just see the top of Nash Point there and pretty big and fearsome cliffs as well. So while we're going on the road, we're just kind of skirting along by the side of, again, sharing our view with the sheep. And again, looking back to the uh, Nash Point lighthouses uh, and the wind was picking up by now, so uh, it's quite bracing. Then finally, we're starting to get views of Porth Call here, the wind turbines, be Behind. and there's the river of Moor which we got to last time uh, you can just see it going down there I was made a video of Griff didn't really come out so we just went off to the pub and had a pint which was absolutely marvellous so a great trip bye bye